How's it going, everybody? My name is Jason. I'll be your host on this CFL talk show, Hussies Huddle. In this video, we discuss the future of the quarterback Jeremiah Mazzoli and what team he will be playing for in the CFL come 2021. But quickly before we get started, if you want to support the channel, the best way to do it is just by hitting that like button and subscribing to Hussies Huddle for more CFL content like this. With that said, let's go and get started with the video. Before we dive into Mazzoli's current situation with the Tiger Cats, let's first go over his history with the team. Mazzoli's actually been with the Tiger Cats since 2013, where he came in as an unheralded backup. He would sit behind veterans Henry Burris and Zach Kolaris and learn the Canadian Football League for this first several seasons with the Tiger Cats. But by 2017, he had unseated Kolaris as Hamilton's undisputed starting quarterback. In that 2018 season, Mazzoli was an East Division All-Star throwing for over 5,000 yards while leading Hamilton to the Eastern Final. In 2019, Mazzoli looked like he was following up on a great 2018 performance with a great start to the season. But unfortunately, in a game shortly into the season against the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, Mazzoli would tear his ACL and would miss the remainder of the 2019 season. Backup Dane Evans would take the reins for Hamilton and would lead the Tiger Cats to an impressive 15-3 record, Hamilton's best record ever in the regular season. Evans would lead Hamilton all the way to the Grey Cup, where they would lose to Winnipeg. Evans' success with the Tiger Cats in 2019 really complicated the situation going into the 2020 offseason for the Tiger Cats. Mazzoli was a free agent despite his high-level performance the previous couple of years, and Evans was actually under contract for 2020. Despite this, Mazzoli would sign a one-year extension with the Tiger Cats, but due to the cancellation of the 2020 season, we never got to see him return from his injury. Now, due to the CFL's lack of freezing of the contracts as a result of the cancellation of the 2020 season, that one year runs off of Mazzoli's contract, and he's now a free agent again. And this time... In completely different financial circumstances. This time, the Tiger Cats are fighting multiple factors. The Tiger Cats have several key free agents, and you combine that with the fact that the financial climate in the CFL is very hostile right now for players, particularly quarterbacks, who are seeing their quarter their salaries slashed by the league. And Mazzoli, who's in need of a new contract, combined with the fact that Evans is still under contract at a relatively cheap number for 2021, brings up the question of whether the Tire Cats will bring Mazzoli back to compete with Evans for the 2021 season. In the league, we've seen several quarterbacks, such as Cody Fajardo and Vernon Adams, already structure their contracts to a lower number for the 2021 season. But it's different when a guy already had a contract versus a guy that is in need of a brand new one from scratch like Mazzoli is. And this brings up the question of whether the Tiger Cats are going to bring back Mazzoli for 2021. And my prediction, personally, is that they won't. They won't bring Mazzoli back because of the financial circumstances around the CFL and the fact that they've seen Evans perform at a high level already for the Tiger Cats. Going forward with Evans as the unquestioned starter, combined with the fact that he's making reportedly only $80,000 in 2021, combined with incentives. And I think that the Tiger Cats would rather bring back all these key pieces, such as the trio of outstanding offensive linemen that they have as current free agents, Chris Van Zyl, Brandon Revenberg, and Darius Sirocco, rather than spending hundreds of thousand dollars to bring back a quarterback that may not even win the competition out of training camp. These are the kind of situations, even though Mazzoli, in many people's minds, is a better quarterback than Dane Evans, the financial circumstances of the situation may draw Mazzoli out of Hamilton for 2021. And that begs the question, where is Mazzoli going to play in the CFL in 2021? When you look around the league, there aren't many teams that need a quarterback. I wouldn't even venture that there are any teams that need a starting quarterback in the CFL, which really makes this situation very interesting. So let's bring it back to those teams that haven't restructured contracts with their quarterbacks yet, even though they have them under contract for the 2021 season. You have Matt Nichols in Toronto, 
who signed a deal in 2023 agency. You have Zach Kolaris, who signed an extension after winning the Grey Cup in Winnipeg. And then you have Nick Arbuckle, who got traded to Ottawa from Calgary and immediately signed a big extension with the club in 2020 free agency once again. And those combined with Hamilton make the four potential landing spots in my mind for Mazzoli in 2021. So let's go over these four situations. Number one, of course, is my my prediction could be wrong and the Tiger Cats decide to bring back Mazzoli. They work something out and he competes with Evans for the spot and potentially is the starter once again for the Tiger Cats, has a great season, yada, yada, yada. The second one is he goes to Ottawa at, because they cannot reach a restructured contract with Nick Arbuckle, therefore having to release him. Mazzoli comes in at a lower number that than Arbuckle was willing to play for, and he becomes Ottawa's new starting quarterback, and Arbuckle hits the road. That's quite a possibility given the fact that this team actually just re-signed Dominique Davis, their backup quarterback, and that, to me, I saw that as a leverage play for this team, seeing as they already have another guy brought back, and they're trying to leverage Arbuckle to take less money. I have no idea how the state of that situation is. We don't know the state of that negotiation, but that is how that situation would possibly play out. And then, you got Winnipeg. Winnipeg is very interesting, and I don't think this one is too realistic, given the history between Zach Kolaris and Jeremiah Mazzoli fighting for position in Hamilton's quarterback depth chart over those years in Hamilton. There's a couple ways I can see Mazzoli ending up in Winnipeg. Number one, they fail to reach an agreement with Kolaris on a restructured contract at a lower number for the 2021 season, and they switch Kolaris out for Mazzoli. Simple as that. Same thing as the Ottawa thing. But the other one is that they decide to just bring in Mazzoli anyway. Mazzoli decides to come in at a lower number, compete with Kolaris for that, for that job, and Kolaris, I like Zach Kolaris. Don't get me wrong. I do like Zach Kolaris, and he has played at a very high level in the past. He, When he was with the Tire Cats, that one season before he tore his ACL, he was playing at an MOP level. He's he's played some high-level football in his career, but in the recent years, he's struggled to stay healthy. He's not the highest upside quarterback in my mind, even though he's very smart. He plays very witty, makes the straight decisions and such. And bringing him in with Mazzoli, Mazzoli competing with them. I'm not too sure Mazzoli's not the better quarterback between those two quarterbacks. So that's what it would be interesting in Winnipeg. I think that's that's the only... That's one of the only possibilities there that Mazzoli comes in on a cheaper deal and joins in a competition in Winnipeg. Remember, this team used multiple quarterbacks in 2019 on the way to the Grey Cup, so they're no stranger to that. Even though Winnipeg seemed very committed after that Grey Cup win to Kolaris as their future quarterback, it's just something, some food for thought for a possibility for Jeremiah Mazzoli in 2021. And then... If I had to bank on one team that is where Mazzoli will play in 2021, it'd be the Toronto Argonauts. Because we've actually seen torts from Three Down Nation that the Argos and quarterback Matt Nichols, who was under contract for 2021, are far apart in their restructuring negotiations. He signed a contract in 2020 free agency before the pandemic where quarterback salaries were skyrocketing. And they have reportedly by Three Down Nation, you can look it up, they are very far apart on those negotiations. And Matt Nichols is probably the lowest upside quarterback in the CFL when you look at arm strength and risk taking. He doesn't do a whole lot of things that will elevate the ceiling of your football team. Even though he's very he's a very consistent starter, he's plays within the game, he's very Alex Smith of the NFL like you know he's very very similar to Alex Smith in that sense prime Alex Smith and I could see it them easily cutting bait with him if they can't come into an agreement on a negotiation with Nichols I can see them bringing in Mazzoli and just saying well Mazzoli's the better quarterback anyway let's just do that and uh I just think that's going to be very fascinating. If I had to bet, that is my sense of the situation right now, is that Mazzoli is going to end up in Toronto. But, like I said, all of these are technically possible. I don't see, in any sense, how he's going to end up in any of these other places. Calgary, Saskatchewan, Montreal, all these teams, they all have established quarterbacks that have already agreed to new contracts at lower numbers. 
So I think those guys, those teams are already set. They don't really want to bring in a starting caliber quarterback like Mazzoli. And so I think these four teams are really the only true possibilities for Mazzoli in the 2021 season. But I think there's a lot of potential for some interesting drama that we'll see unfold here in free agency. So that's going to do it for today's video. I'd like to thank you guys all for watching. If you want to support the channel, once again, the best way to do it is just by hitting that like button and subscribing to Hussey's Huddle for more CFL content like this. I'd like to hear everybody's thoughts in the comment section below where you think Jeremiah Mazzoli will be playing in the CFL in 2021. With that said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.